Guy, we are rolling. <laughs> guy. <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, guy. This guy? This guy. I know a guy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Chef Nathan Lippy. You got CJ Frazier behind the camera. So today, uh, I want to show you guys kind of some like, I don't know, just a way to take your burger from what you've always done. Maybe you're in a burger rut and you want to start elevating your burger game just with a few simple techniques because a burger can go any million different directions. Uh, so we're going to keep it basic. We're going to elevate our flavors, compound our flavors so that we have an epic, delicious, beautiful, delicious. Hashtag delicious. Hashtag delicious and dutiful. Dude? Beautiful. Beautiful and delicious, dutiful. That was... Why don't we... Less yeah. talking, more cooking. Quit stealing my line. <laughs> that was a great That intro. was a good, yeah. I mean, I'm not bragging, but... That was full on, like, old school comedian. Set up. Out of the park. Lobbed it up there. <sighs> All right, let's get into our recipe. So today, uh, I'm actually using, check this out, CJ. I'm using Rostelli's Black Angus Burgers. These things are delicious, juicy. It is a wonderful, wonderful pre-packaged burger. They deliver. Uh, right now, we're actually doing a really special deal. So go to blackstoneproducts.com, and anytime you order anything, I think it's anything, right? Anything yep. from the website, yep. you're gonna get some loveliness from Rostelli's. You can also check out more uh, at rostelli's.com. All right, let's jump into this. So this burger is beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go pretty basic with this guy. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna start with that, CJ. What's wrong with you? I don't know, I forgot to tell you to start with the bacon. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna start with our bacon. I've got the new 17 range top. This thing is super fun. It's got 17 inch burner on this side, and then it's got a side burner hey. on the other. It comes in super handy if you're out camping. Uh, I've got some thick cut bacon. We're gonna start with this stuff. We're gonna do uh, one burger. I'm gonna do two pieces of bacon because that's how I roll. Now this is twofold, okay? So we want uh, the bacon, obviously, because this is bacon. But we also want to render out that bacon fat. We're gonna cook our beef in the bacon fat. Not only does bacon fat get hotter than butter or oil, it has a much higher smoking point, it also has a lot of flavor. So our beef fat is gonna mix with our bacon fat and just absolutely elevate our flavors. How do you feel about that, CJ? It's like beef and bacon are going on a date. They're gonna make a baby, and that's gonna be this burger. They're probably gonna get married. I'll be invited. I'm obviously gonna be filming the wedding. See? So uh, let's get on our condiment. This is a fun one, a really easy one. I'm gonna take a little bit of red onion. Um, so most people have, you know, lettuce, tomato, onion on their burger. Nothing fancy just yet, right? You still with me, CJ? I'm still with you, guy. But we're gonna take these red onions to another level. So I'm just gonna get rid of all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna slice these as thin as possible. Really, really thin, almost almost shaved. See that action? Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. Mostly because we don't want a giant uh, giant bite. There's some onion, uh, onion peel in there. We don't want a giant crunchy bite of onion. I mean, if you like that, awesome, go for it. That's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is we're gonna create a little, like a quick pickle. So we want, as much surface area as possible in a very thin, almost a shade of red onion is where it's at. You can do this with a, um, oh, brain fart, what's it called, CJ? I don't, a mandolin? Mandolin! CJ for the win, five points for CJ. You could do it with a mandolin, uh, or you just try to control your knife better than I am right mm. now. It's your first time really cutting thin. today? Yeah, that's right. it is. Thanks, guy. Mm, this guy. Guy. Beautiful. I'm only doing one burger, so we don't need a ton. And it's okay if it's not a full slice. We just need it really thin, because we want, like, even that is fine. We just very, very paper thin. Uh, you know, I feel good about this. I think we're good there. We're gonna take a bowl, put all of that in our bowl. Now we're gonna add some uh, fun ingredients. I've got some uh, red wine vinegar, just a dash, or as Bruce Mitchell would say, a dab? A little dab will do, yeah. Uh -huh. Which is actually in a one of my favorite, oh, excuse me. one of my favorite Jimmy Buffett songs. And I know you love Jimmy Buffett, CJ. Come on, dude, is there really any favorite Jimmy Buffett songs? Yes. I'll, I'll sing the line, you let me know in the comments, uh, comments what song it's from. Brill cream, a little dab do you, I can do some cruising to blah, blah. Or we could just stop the video right now. You can stop the video right now. Your mom goes to college. 
I know I can. I'm adding uh, just a little bit of ground coriander. Let's see, uh, pop quiz, CJ. Pop quiz, hot shot. What is coriander? Coriander is... You got it, buddy. ...of the coriandus. <laughs> it's the um, i give you a hint. It's a... Uh, we put it in our salsa. A little bit of olive oil. I mean, I know what coriander is. It is the is. seed of cilantro. Oh, I didn't know that at all, actually. Really? No. Well, we're learning together. Yeah, that's fun we're to learning. learn. Me and CJ are learning, and hopefully you and I are learning. All right, so that was just olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. You know what, I'm gonna go a little heavier on the coriander, because I really want this flavor to penetrate uh, that delicious thin cut onion. We're gonna let this sit the entire time that we're cooking. We just do a quick pickle. I'm just gonna take that onion flavor game to another level. There we go, we're all done with that. Now let's talk about sauce. Uh, don't get me wrong, I can do ketchup, touch of mustard, all day long. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But every once in a while I want to elevate that flavor. Let's give our bacon a flip real quick. It's popping on me. Oh beauty. That's gorgeous. Um, we're gonna elevate our flavor game just a little bit. So instead of just adding mayo, we're gonna mix here we go, CJ. Let me get all these ingredients out. You can see what we're working with. Let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, so this has actually never happened during this kind of video before, but I have a little batarazzi. One major American... Batarazzis. Really? <laughs> then get a new one. Another movie line. I got it good. <laughs> 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 That was, okay, that was we're, we're, are you we're, back? Uh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Oh, I hurt. Sorry, technical difficulties. I'm losing my bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this over here. I'm let this drain on some paper towel. There we go. Let's there get back go. to our sauce. So um, I'm gonna take some mayo, not a ton. We'll probably go 50-50. Half mayo, half sour cream. Now, the sour cream's gonna give us uh, some brightness that the mayo didn't have on its own. And to this, we're gonna add some smoked paprika. Uh, if you've never had smoked paprika, I remember the first time I showed this to you, CJ. Mm -hmm. and it's one of those things, it smells and it's barbecue. It's the barbecue seasoning, if you wanna think of it that way. So we're gonna add some smoked paprika. And that's different, by the way. It's smoked paprika, not just paprika, smoked paprika. Grab some. It'll change the world. Mm -hmm. Change the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. We're also going to add some chipotle, ground chipotle. We're going to get a little bit of heat. And last little touch, I'm going to add a bit of lime juice. Uh, always when you're when you're squeezing a lime to get the most juice out of it, you want to give it a, a press, and you're going to roll it. So you're pressing your weight down onto the lime as you're rolling it. And what that does is it loosens up the cell structure on the inside of the lime, so when you squeeze it, you're getting out more juice with less effort. I'm gonna cut that in half. Beauty. Here we go. Lovely. This is gonna thin our sauce out just a little bit, and it's gonna add a touch of tart sweetness. Right, sweetness is good, tart is good, but tart sweetness is what we're it's looking better. for here. You know, I'm also gonna hit this with a little touch of salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I use that coarse ground pepper. I don't know if you notice that, CJ. I always use. Yeah, I don't use. I don't use uh, the finely ground anymore. No, that coarse. It just has such a better flavor. It almost has a bite to it. Mm -hmm. I dig. Let me give this a mix, nice and even. And this is uh, real simple. It was like 30 seconds, and we've got a fantastic elevated sauce. It's going to be money, magical, on our burger. It's really pretty too. So you see, actually, that, that consistency is really nice. It's gonna spread really great on the burger. Just thing it out a little bit. It's you not can also, too loose, it's not yeah. like just thick mayo. That is lovely. Let's give it a go. Oh, dang. So, so good. All right, so onions are done, bacon is done, sauce is done. Let's talk about a burger. So I've got my Rostelli's burger. Uh, this is really fantastic. It ships direct to your house. So while you're at home, you are uh, good to go. Check out Rostelli's.com. We're also offering a really fun deal on BlackstoneProducts.com when you make a purchase through the website. So you should go do that. 
or put this video on pause and go do that now or just wait till mm -hmm. wait till later. Now I'm gonna go real basic on this. I'm gonna go salt and pepper, man. That's it, huh? That's it because we have all that glorious bacon fat on the griddle. I'm gonna do the other side once I get on. So I'm gonna pull that guy out. Now we've got our little leaf on there. Hey, get, get out, out of here. There. Little, get out of there, little guy. So we have all of our bacon fat. Let me grab some of this. Let's put that bacon fat over to the middle. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Liquid gold. Lovely and seasoned side down. Give it just a little bit of a press. Just like that. So this is an Angus burger, so we don't have to go overboard with the seasoning. There's a lot of flavor in that beef. And one of the most important things to becoming a better cook is appreciating the flavor of the ingredients that you're cooking with versus just loading it up with flavors of other stuff. So just salt and pepper, real basic. That is all we need, and that is just gonna magically cook away in that beautiful bacon fat. And, uh, oh wait, here's a fun little thing. So I see a lot of imagery when people have, they'll do this, let me just, I'll take one of these. They'll take this leaf and do a little comparison here, show you how much lettuce you actually get. So we have a fun little sesame seed bun and I'll see this trick. Somebody will take their burger and put don't do this. Don't please, be that please guy. Don't, please don't do this. Come on, guy, uh, don't be that guy. Two reasons. One, uh, this bite of lettuce is completely different from this bite of lettuce. That's not what we want. We want a nice, even uh, flavor profile, texture profile across our beautiful creation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred it. If that's any advice you take, please take that piece of advice. I'll give you that. Shredded lettuce, thin shreds of lettuce. We're gonna go down, uh, I like using romaine, it's got a great crunch to it. Get out of here. Getting attacked by the wildlife people. There we go, real thin shredded lettuce. Now as you get down to the whites, the flavor is different at the bottom of the lettuce, but that's okay. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get down fairly low, I like to leave about that much. And then uh, we've got all the greens over here, kind of the white uh, fibrous areas over here. Just take them, give them a toss, make it even. So we get a little bit of each. We get a little bit of that crunch, a little bit of that bright green, a little bit of the whites. There we go. That, where that is. That is far better than this, right? Don't do this. Do this. What do you think about this? Again? I think it's a pretty decent idea. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah. We're looking good over here. Let's give her a flip, shall we? Okay. Crust for days, my friends. Beautiful crispiness. Love it. Here we go. Let's go for just a little bit longer uh, before we add our cheese and bacon. Now, here's uh, this is something that I like to do. You ever have a, a bacon cheeseburger where the bacon's like literally just like hanging off the sides? Yep. Right. Yep. So what do you do? You uh, take one bite of bacon. Yep. Right. <laughs> and then you don't have that bacon on the burger. Yeah, it's my favorite bite. Is it? Well, I'm not doing it that way, CJ. Well, I'm gonna show you a trick. So we take our bacon, uh, it's cooled off just a little bit. I'm gonna cut it into three pieces, each slice, all right? Now let's talk about our cheese. I'm using some cheddar cheese. Uh, American cheese is also really fantastic. It gets a bad rap, but man, American cheese, it is fantastic on a burger. All right, we're gonna take a slice of cheddar. Now here we go with our bacon. So instead of just adding a giant piece of bacon across the burger, we're going to add our bacon pieces just like that. And then we're putting our cheese on top of the bacon. Why are we doing that, CJ? To let it melt. That's right, and that cheese is gonna hold our bacon in place. So it, it just looks far, far, far prettier. And I don't know if you were counting, but... You sneaky son of a gun. There's an extra piece. Hmm. That's daddy's piece. We're taking that. I'm not telling you right, beautiful. Daddy. <laughs> Please don't. Now uh, we have some of that bacon fat. I'm just gonna get my bun in it. Just like that. We're gonna toast this bun. Beautiful. You know, we're doing kind of a classic bacon cheeseburger. I wanted that sesame seed yeah. bun. Makes me, uh, makes me feel good. Makes me feel real good. Let's check out our buns. Oh yeah, quick toast. Glorious. 
Now we're gonna go down sauce first. Beautiful sauce, give it a little mix. Sauce first. Beautiful, a little bit more. Then lettuce. Nice good stack here. It's a serious stack of lettuce. Well, you'll see. It kind of it kind of falls down a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna be all right here, CJ. Okay. Let's close our lid and let that cheese melt just a touch longer. Good idea. Then, then we'll come back just because if we're gonna eat it, might as well be beautiful. I don't know if you can see those onions are starting to change uh, color just a little bit. You can see they're getting saturated with that liquid. Let's get in here, actually. Oh, man. It's only been a few minutes. And there's definitely, that, that pickling liquid has definitely gotten in there. It's a really tart, delicious bite of bread onion. Just, it, we talk about this all the time. When you guys are, are cooking and you're eating, let it kind of be a lesson, right? So as you taste something really good, it's like, oh yeah, next time I cook, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember that sort of thing. Um, I want you guys to follow recipes. We love Todd, uh, Desiree, uh, CJ. We all love writing recipes for you guys, but don't lean on the recipes only. You know, you want to start learning to become a better cook with all your technique so that you can start writing your own recipes. I'm going to take our beautiful burger. Here we go. Right on top. Our lettuce. Beauty. Now, we're pretty standard so far, right? Got our lettuce. We elevated the sauce, but when we take these beautiful onions, let some of that um, some of that liquid drain up just a little bit. We're gonna mound it up. Oh man, it smells insanely good. Mm, yeah. Really simple technique, but it just elevates your flavor like you wouldn't believe. Let's uh, let's do some sauce in that top bun. How do yeah, you feel about that, idea. buddy? There we go. We're gonna <clears throat> sauce that top bun, and here we go. Right, right there. Simple, delicious. Uh, we took a, a fairly classic um, bacon cheeseburger just by changing a little bit of our technique in our sauce and by pickling those red onions or doing a quick pickle, not a true pickle. Uh, we're taking the flavor to an entirely different place. Uh, this is unbelievable and gorgeous. You get a nice, man, it's lovely. It's so nice. I gotta, I gotta do one for the gram. Because <laughs> if you didn't post it to Instagram, did it actually? Happen? It's true. There we go. Well, how about one of those too? Hey, hey, hey. There he is, guy. <laughs> oh man, should we cut this? Let's cut this. Good. Here we go. All right, so this is our bacon cheeseburger with Rostelli's oh. beauty. The Rostelli's ground beef, Rostelli's burger. Look at that thing. It is crazy juicy, crazy delicious. You just have all that beautiful color and texture. Let's get on this. I'm gonna get this one right here. Oh dang. All right, can you just, can just we take, take a, second? a moment? Can we have a moment? Just... So, so messy, so good. Here we go. That was one bite. I'm not too bite, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Nope. It's so good. You've got all the savories, the smoky, the salty, a little bit of sweet, you've got tart. It's kind of like playing with your palate. Like every part of your palate has a flavor that's getting hit on. It's just well, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I hope you love that recipe. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. Uh, we've got a really fantastic deal going on with Rostelli's. When you purchase through blackstoneproducts.com, you're going to get some Rostelli goodies all at your front door because it's all delivery and crazy delicious. This is a juicy, delicious burger. So grab some of these next time you buy something at blackstoneproducts.com. Hey, CJ. Yep. See you later, guy. Later, guy. See ya.